right? We stayed there for a whole week. What? We need to get moving, you know. <laughs> Plus, they said no mess. Oh, man. I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. <laughs> All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Oh, man, I miss that dirty little dog I miss so too. much more than I thought I would. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. It's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty bad. Okay, so nine oh three. What is that? Whoa, that's a long way. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's quite a distance. Definitely quite a distance. Um... Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo-choo! So careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to! We're late on schedule. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, oh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bad. Daniel, oh, yeah. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. Yeah, breakfast time. Grandma's showing me a pop star. Steven, 
Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar can't later. Stay can't stay here forever. Got to carry on going. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or, need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. All right, all right. I'm saying that's terrible. I just said that because you boys done playing. We had express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. Oh no. No trains in the kitchen. Remember? Gotcha, chief. Choo choo. <laughs> Ah, uh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. <laughs> Did I make enough? Uh, what? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. Oh, omelette. You're the best cook ever. Omelette Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand back to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? Damn it. Don't get your, oh no, Daniel, gonna... language. Why don't you go explore go outside? It, you sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Sean. Be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? He's gonna go in it, isn't he? Please don't go in it, please don't go in it. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. I don't care. She left us anyway. Yes, Sean. She left all of us. Anyway. <laughs> you have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? Of course. 
Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. How bet Stephen has the key. Ten old freak. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Pout. What's going on? Why do I have to do homework when I'm not even in school? I know it sucks, but you still have to learn things. Or you'll become dumb. Okay. But these problems are stupid. I know, man. I've been there too. Just do your best. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Daniel's going nuts in here. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Whoa! Careful. Oh. Sorry, I, I forgot. Oh, that thing oh. isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. It happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. yeah, I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can, well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after yep. everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. Mm -hmm. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run. <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. 
Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to... Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Okay. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. Busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. Jeez. Found you. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> no more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Oh. Thanks, Sean. All right, let's get it over with. All right, time to take care of that laundry. Thanks, Claire. Claire and Steven are super kind to us, but a bit smothering. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Do not mix the whites. Be careful with it. it. Looks expensive. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. seen any actual fish in there since we got here. There's no fish. No, no. I've got to be very, I've got to be very careful because, like I said, anything I, 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 Boring laundry. I do is getting done. Time for fresh air. 
thing I want to do is, you know, get into real trouble. I gotta follow the rules if I wanna stay here as long as possible until we're ready. Come on, man. I <laughs> put all your toys in the trash, dude. <sighs> of course not. But next time you bail on me, maybe I will. Whoa. Oh. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Daniel, you ready? Right, I'll tell you. We can now. go out now. Yes! Wait for me! Uh, right, I, I just really couldn't do what was in the tank because I didn't want to risk it. so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh, oh. <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Uh -huh. Sean, oh, look! No. Oh, so that's where the cat died <laughs> in. Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That T-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh god. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes. Even Power Bear. Ah. Gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. There are grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, the best thing to do is not lie, obviously. Yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks... Tell her everything is... Fine. Is it... Really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Thanks, I guys. Even, I, I was looking See away you later. For a second. I didn't yes. know what he said. We will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you. 
You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the next morning. It never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericans. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Say sorry, I can't read that properly. Um, Morrissey Pads, I'll let you sleep in today while at the church. Back by noon for lunch. See you in a bit. Love, Grandma. P.S. We tidied up everything, so no uh, rough housing, please. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. No. Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? <laughs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. <laughs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. 
So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. Captain but that's my Spirit, secret uh... identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Well, yeah, we need a... Oh, Team Signal! Cool. Orly! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf! What's your super name, Sean? How about the Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm. Not bad. That's true. You're a great runner. Okay, guys. I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Oh, no. Okay, team, uh, oh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Oh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic book. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, store! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Look closely. Careful. It may be tricky. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Interesting. Okay, how did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. It's Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the forest warrior, power bear. More T-Rex and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah. Strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Aren't afraid? Maybe it's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be watching you, you know? Even better. 
So he'll know he better stay away from <coughs> us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone know about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just, he has a hard time. No, oh, hold on. Being on his own. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah. That's all. This is more talking than accent. Chris. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But. You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. Oh, Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey. You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, 
I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. All yes, right, yeah. I know the rules. Something. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Let's buy one. <laughs> Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But okay, don't forget so what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. You coming, Sean? <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so I'll be around. Fire small, $50. Fur big, 70, screw small, 40, screw big, 60. What's the difference? Can Daniel help that? Behold, the giant condom machine. No time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. Mm. We'll have to tame the one we want. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. What about this one? Hmm. Too thin. What's this? Find Daniel a Christmas present? Are you serious? Jeez, Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Ooh, this one is cool. I agree. Adding it to the top three list. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. Look, giant. Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Snow spiders must be lurking around. Don't worry. Captain Spirit will crush them with his mind. 19 for a small tree like that. I can get that. I can get a cheap. I can get one, say, say one for two. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. Find a gift for Daniel. How am I going to find a gift? All, all that's here is just. Oh! Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. Nope. Hi, everybody. Yeah, We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> we only sell handmade local pro- Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. All towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody uh, knows Steven. He was Steve. Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his no, grandson, are you? Is. 
Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around. And if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. If I have enough cash left, I... I could get a gift for Claire and Steven. Hmm... What would she like? How should I know? Damn. Just take the goddamn bear already. Jesus! Can't you make an effort for a change? Yeah, no. <sighs> Reminds me of that. Just think she won't like lovely rocket. So, <sighs> Reminds me of that. Yeah, lovely yeah, rocket Daniel definitely. made for me once. This is too whatever. Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. And, of course, you get the friendly price <laughs> to celebrate well. the Reynolds reunion. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. Here. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. We only cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. I wish I could hear. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality. We play the game skillful ends, and so I asked for your demands. Give me your love, give me your gun, and you chased us back to where we gone. So the morning came.
Okay. Got it. Hey! I do weddings and bar mitzvahs as well. Anyone interested? Anyone? Yeah, beautiful scenery. Hey, anyone okay, got some uh, spare change for a young, beautiful home? Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. No time to explore the neighborhood, dude. Hmm. Quiet morning. The best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Bet he loved this. Hmm. No. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. Poor kid. Sorry, I'm, oh dear. I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds complicated. <laughs> Trauma? <laughs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place oh, to dear. place, hunting for little jobs. <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's oh, okay. No. <laughs> we Seeing hop a friend are in the on same trains. Or almost in the Gives same situation as... Man, that sounds wicked. You have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next oh, stop yeah, is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. <laughs> Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig mm -hmm. your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. Can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Sorry, you, thought, you yeah, went through some shit with the see. guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you took your hair? 
I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. Nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. The yeah. That's what the song says. See you around. Dottie was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse no. me. Nothing Dogs like... have to be on a leash around here. They're almost here. exactly like they too are. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. A dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> you punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, no. God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fox Heights. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. <laughs> no. Not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. I know you guys are looking for fun, They're but pretty. I gotta be cautious, otherwise. Whoa. The guy who painted that must have been seriously high. Whoa. The guy who painted that must have been seriously high. <laughs> Cool. How do I, I let that Sean? One. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ah, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're a loss. Let's go. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Hello. Hello, what? <laughs> 